So hey guys, it is Sunday and I am starting the weekly vlog here at Surfside and in Suites, checking out of my hotel in Orlando where I've been for the past few days, having a blast with friends. Um, I'll talk about that more when I get home and you guys will be seeing vlogs from that. You probably will have already seen two vlogs from that at least, maybe all three. We'll see how I end up doing that. But I'm leaving Surfside Inn right now. I'm going to Dutch Bros to get us coffee and then making the drive home. So happy Sunday. It's a new weekly vlog. Let's get it going. So if you watched my Idaho road trip vlogs or watched my Instagram stories when we were in Idaho, I fell in love with Dutch Bros and this is the first location of Dutch Bros in Florida. They're slowly making their way east. They're from out west, like Oregon, Washington area, and they've been slowly moving their way across the US. This is the first ever Florida location. They're opening two more very soon. Hopefully they'll open one in Tampa soon, but for now they're in the Orlando area. It's 35 minutes from here to the Dutch Bros, uh, but it's a roundabout way on my way home. So I'm gonna go there. We're gonna see how long I have to wait. I wait about 25 minutes for my drink on Thursday, but it's a Sunday, so we're gonna see. So let's not waste any more time. I can talk to you while I'm in line at Dutch Bros. Let's get there. Well, I'm here. <laughs> it's very busy, but I am committed. Uh, I waited basically where that blue car is, is where I started on Thursday, and it was 25 minutes. So I'm not that far off from that. But there's a lot of people also ordering at the pickup window, which wasn't really happening on Thursday. So we'll see how it goes. Um, they really need to open some more Dutch Bros. <laughs> when I was here on Thursday, the girl said they're opening the one in Claremont very soon. And that's just a little bit north of here. So I think once that one opens, that will help take some of this demand off. Um, but especially on the weekends. I mean, it's a brand new place. A lot of people haven't tried, so they're all coming. Or they're from all over the country and they know Dutch Bros is amazing and they want to come get it. Like me. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I will time how long it takes me to get through this line. I'll drive the rest of the way home. So this is, it was about 35 minutes from Universal and it's about like an hour and 15 or so back home if I4 cooperates. So what I really need them to do is open some Dutch Bros in Tampa. <laughs> I guess I can talk to you guys about the weekend while I'm sitting here in, uh, in this line for 25 plus minutes, 30 minutes, who knows. Um, so I had a lovely time. I think you've already seen maybe at least two of the vlogs. We did, I did Flower and Garden with Michael, had a blast had a rainy Friday and I thought plans were gonna get canceled. Sarah and I had planned to do Mardi Gras because I wanted to see the parade because the first time I did Mardi Gras, I didn't get to see the parade. And it looked like it was gonna be just a washout. And then it rained in the morning and stopped. So Sarah decided to come up and join me. And then literally 10 minutes before the parade started, it started raining and I was like, you've gotta be kidding me. But thankfully they still did the parade. They all had their umbrellas. We didn't have stilts. I think you'll have already seen that vlog. Um, but we had a really good time on Friday. And then yesterday, which I don't think you will have seen this vlog yet, was medieval times for Jason's birthday. So Ash and I got to Universal early, hung out at Universal for a while. Jason and Tim joined later. And then we all went to medieval times to celebrate Jason's birthday. So my RIP boys, we had a fun medieval times day, which you'll see probably on Friday would be my guess. All right, it's been about 15 minutes and I'm probably pretty close to ordering. All right, I'm at 30 minutes. <laughs> and there's like what, like eight cars ahead of me? Getting close. All right, so we're at 40 minutes and I have two cars to go. So good morning, everyone. It is Monday and <laughs> I feel so tired. Uh, I got back from Orlando yesterday, obviously, and I am just tired from three days at the theme parks and then coming home yesterday. <laughs> but it's a short week this week. I have Friday off of work because it's Good Friday. You're at a crazy angle, I apologize. Uh, so that's good news. It's only four day work week. It's gonna be a very busy four day work week. <sighs> But to wake myself up 
I'm gonna do my upper body workout and since I'm not doing Fit for the Fog right now, uh, mainly because I have so many other videos to put out, I wanna work out. Um, I do also want to chat about all the lovely comments you guys left me on my last weekly vlog. So we'll talk about that a little later. Stitch Fix arrived, so we need to do Stitch Fix. <sighs> There's a lot to do and I'm just like trying to wake up. <laughs> it's like a theme park hangover right now. Foster is off at the vet getting a biopsy on the thing on his hip, on his thigh that we're not sure what it is. Um, previous vlog I said that the that we weren't quite sure, that it was inconclusive. The vet basically said that the cells didn't come back cancerous but he could tell it was super inflamed so he's worried that the tumor is actually underneath where they took the sample and that the swelling we're seeing is because it's like pushing his muscle up. Um, so he's at the vet, he had to get sedated in order to actually have a biopsy um, to figure out what's going on back there on his hip. So that's never fun. Um, so I'll be excited when Foster's home later. Um, I can hear Colby outside my office kind of huffing at me because I have him shut up at the office and uh, when things are a little out of whack, out of normal routine, then Colby gets very attached to me. And he's huffing and puffing because I have the door closed. <laughs> Let me get my workout done quickly so that Colby can become my shadow again and get the day started. Hit my bronze strength. Yay! Well guys, it's Monday and that means it's planner day. So, so we're still waiting to hear about Bean. Haven't heard anything back yet. Uh, but now it is time to plan for the week. I'm watching vlogs over here while I plan. I am still so far behind on everyone's vlogs from the road trip. Like not watching YouTube for a week has put me so far behind. I have so many vlogs that I've been trying to catch up with. So uh, I've been like binging some of Jacqueline's vlogs because I'd really like to be caught back up and be able to watch in real. While I plan, I'll be watching, I'm watching her vlog from when she and Trevor went to the casino. And I'm going to do my planning for my four day week. So planner montage just for Sammy and anyone else who enjoys it, of course. Monday in too hard. <laughs> Bean is back. They did the biopsy. We don't have results yet, but the vet basically told us like he's pretty sure it's just one of the fatty lipomas or whatever it's called that he gets. He just thinks it happened to grow underneath the muscle and just pushing the muscle out so it looks a lot larger than it is. But he's got stitches. He's whining because he typically gets very whiny when he comes off anesthesia. So he's a sad little boy. Ash is in a cone because when he went to the vet last week, he accidentally scraped the bottom of his paw where the tumor is 
and because it's a tumor it keeps bleeding and he won't leave it alone so he's in a cone and now colby is having stomach issues <laughs> literally all three dogs <laughs> are being patient right now so i'm about to run out to Publix to get colby chicken and rice he most likely you foster just came in so you're gonna hear him whining behind me he's a sad little boy um i'm gonna get colby some chicken and rice to try to settle his stomach um he of the three dogs has an iron stomach but he is also of the three dogs the one who puts things in his mouth that he shouldn't so we don't know what that might have been um so i'm gonna get him some chicken and rice to try to settle his stomach to make sure we don't have to go back to the vet for him we're gonna i'm gonna be watching him like a hawk so far he's not having a great time but he's been able to come get me and get him outside every time so he's not like had any accidents or anything um but he's not loving life which is sad because he was so happy when i got home yesterday he was so excited and now he's not having a great time foster's like already asleep you heard him whine like the three times he came in the office and he's already he's so sleepy so you can see his spot where he had the surgery so he's got stitches right there i'm gonna get him his bed but i need to run to Publix for this one and ash is coming so you're gonna get to see him in the cone here Yep, here he is, because he won't leave his tumor alone. So we need that little spot to heal, and it's not going to heal quickly because it's a tumor. <sighs> I love them all so much. I don't like this Monday. This Monday is not my favorite. Okay, so we're officially a sick bay over here. We've removed the rug from the living room because uh, dogs, I'm sure if you have dogs, you understand, House full of tile, where do they like to go puke? They like to go puke on the carpets. <laughs> so we've picked up the rug because he has puked, I don't know, like six to eight times in the past oh, two too hours. Many. <laughs> too many. Um, it's been, I'm not even kidding. I'm not gonna go into details. It's been a lot. Um, as you can tell, there's a bed missing because he puked on that bed. So now we have these two beds covered in sheets. This is all Colby, by the way. Um, Foster's fine. He's still whining a little bit, but he's fine. Colby is having a miserable time. So we're hoping he just has some sort of like stomach bug and it's kind of like food poisoning where his body's just like rejecting everything at the moment. Um, we got him a vet appointment for tomorrow morning to double check and make sure that's all it is because he is of the three dogs, the one who likes to put things in his mouth who, that he shouldn't. So we went ahead and called the vet, got an appointment for first thing tomorrow, just in case. Um, so he won't, he got lunch, which was a mistake. He had not vomited until he had lunch. He was just having upset tummy outside. Um, but then I fed him lunch and now his body is just like, get it all out. So he's not getting dinner. I made him rice and chicken. I went to Publix and got him rice and chicken, but we're not gonna give it to him now. Um, so he'll get that tomorrow. And uh, I'm just gonna chill in our carpetless living room. Hopefully he starts napping. Thankfully he never, he just, he only sleeps here on the sofa. So we have that covered. We have these beds covered and every room that has carpet is currently blocked off. So you can't go to it. But hopefully he's, hopefully he's done throwing up now. It's been the Monday of all Mondays, for sure. Here we thought Foster was gonna be our stressor for the day and Colby said, hold my beer. <laughs> so I'm not gonna do Stitch Fix today. I'm not gonna have the conversation about the lovely comments you guys left me today. Maybe tomorrow, um, but I will obviously keep you guys posted. Um, and hopefully he's okay. Hopefully he just got some bacteria in there and upset tummy. So. We'll see. So hey guys, it is Tuesday evening. I am getting ready to walk. We had quite the uh, the evening yesterday. And yeah, so I'm just gonna kind of get into it. Foster got home. Foster's been great. He was a little whiny from the anesthesia, kind of stayed whiny the whole rest of the night. He just does that. Um, He's had previous surgeries, it's the same thing. When he comes off the anesthesia, he's just kind of whiny. He's probably a little sore from having it done too. So he was whiny pretty much all the way until this morning and the rest of the afternoon, he has been great. Colby, on the other hand, 
oh my goodness. I want to spare you guys the details, but you, you know that we had to remove the rug at the living room. Um, I'll put it this way. He had, he vomited more yesterday than I have ever seen a dog vomit that I have any dog ever. Um, so we took him to the vet this morning and he's been at the vet all day. They did an x-ray. There is a foreign body somewhere in his digestive tract. Now the vet said it was pretty far along. So he was going to feed him bread and hope that things moved along on their own. Um, we're waiting to hear back from him. As far as I think we're going to pick him up, he's going to be home with us tonight. And if nothing has moved, then tomorrow he'll have another x-ray and we're going to figure out what to do. But the vet is optimistic that it's far enough down that it should take care of itself. He's a goat. Um, we'll see what the foreign object is. He can't tell what it is. But that's where we're at. That was our day yesterday. I haven't vlogged anything yet today because of that. So I'm about to do my walking. Uh, Mike's probably gonna go pick him up from the vet. We're waiting to hear. It's 5.20 now, they close at 6. So we're expecting to hear from them any minute now, and if not, Mike's gonna call them and figure out what's happening. So, <sighs> my bear. So hey guys, it is Wednesday. Colby has already been to the vet and back. The good news is that whatever the item is, it's moving along. So, um, he hasn't gotten rid of it yet, but it is moving. So they've sent him home and basically we just wait for nature to take its course at this point. Um, so the good news is he won't need surgery. Um, we should be, we should be fine. So uh, he also got rave reviews from the staff. They all just absolutely love him. They're like, he is the sweetest. He just, you know, he's so cooperative. He lets you do whatever you want. And yes, he is by far the easiest patient. Uh, he is the opposite of Ash, who is an absolute nightmare at the vet. <laughs> so yeah, the vets, the vet and the vet techs were all sad to see him go because they all fell in love with him because he is the sweetest, most patient boy who has never met a stranger. He loves every person he meets. So um, yeah, so he's home. He is resting <laughs> this week, I swear to goodness. Now we're having a thunderstorm. Um, Colby's home, a shaky little bean in his thunder coat. Cause it's thundering and lightning and he doesn't like it. This has been a week. It's it's only Wednesday. It's been quite the week. <sighs> Trying to get work done and it's just it's a struggle this week. It is a struggle. But I'm happy to have the thunderstorm. I like the rain and if I'm going to like have a change in seasons, I like having the rain and having cozy afternoons, but it breaks my heart for a little bean. Oh, I saw that one. That was close. That was right there. <laughs> that was right there. Like maybe a second delay. There is definitely a palm tree somewhere in the nearby neighborhoods that just got zapped. <laughs> that was crazy. I wish I'd been vlogging. Oh man. I wonder if you could see that on our nest. And now we just have a power flicker. <laughs> oh man. What a day. So it's uh, like five o'clock. So I was still planning to work for like another hour. Planning to do some walking. Still, I've already done one batch of walking. I was gonna do more walking. Um, but right now I'm just babysitting Bean. We're gonna let this storm pass through and then I might get to do all of that, but man, I am tired. Today, I didn't do my workout when I woke up because I was just tired. But glad to have this little munchkin home. And here comes the rain, so hopefully the lightning will come down. This is what happens when you go to take the dogs for their final potty trip of the night and they see a possum in the yard. So the possum took off running. Mike's checking the yard to make sure the possum is actually gone. It was a lot of work to get him back inside. I literally had to manhandle Colby inside. And then once he was in, I got we could get the other two in. But I literally had to shove him in. <laughs> but just watch Survivor for the week. And we're trying to head to bed. 
and there had to be a dang possum of course hello happy thursday i feel like my entire vlog this week has just been me sitting in my office talking to you guys but it's just been that kind of week um and my instinct is to apologize for the vlog not being interesting but i know i don't need to do that uh however interesting stuff today two things it's the day of dragon announcements one we got the next epic universe land officially announced which we know what they all are at this point but universal is finally announcing them officially and it is how to train your dragon i have not watched those movies i've had people tell me i need to it's probably the land i'm least excited for just because i think it's going to be full of kids however it does look very immersive the decor looks awesome like if the concept art actually matches what they build. I think it will be a very immersive and beautiful land. I just probably won't spend that much time in it because it's gonna be the kids area. But the one I'm more excited for today was book three of Fourth Wing. The Empyrean series was announced. Onyx Storm is gonna be book three and that's coming out in January. So I have to wait all the way to January for book three to find out what happens with Violet and Zayden. Oh, <laughs> it's gonna be a long wait, but I'm wearing my fourth wing shirt today in honor of that. So we got that announcement, all the dragons today. I am getting some work done. Today's my Friday, because I have tomorrow off of work. So I'm going to do a Stitch Fix try on today. I need to do a little bit of packing. I'm only gonna be gone. Have I said what I'm doing? I don't know that I've said what I'm doing. Uh, tomorrow I have the day off work and Jess has invited me to join her for the Joey Fatone and AJ McLean concert in Orlando. We're gonna go celebrate our inner teenagers, those 13, 14 year olds who still live inside us and go watch Joey Fatone and AJ McLean perform together at Hard Rock. So I think they sing some of their own songs and then I think they do covers and both of them are funny so I think it's going to be a good time because neither one of them takes each neither one of them takes themselves seriously so I think it's going to be funny and of course it's always fun hanging out with Jess so we decided to make it like a full on slumber party we have a room booked at Aventura I don't know if I've already talked about all this <laughs> but I think I'm just going to include whatever I can film in this vlog so you'll see that uh tomorrow so i need to do my little overnight bag packing for that and i think that's it i think that's all so i'm definitely going back to dutch brothers again tomorrow because <laughs> i'm an addict and apparently the one in claremont opened so hopefully the line will be a little less crazy because i think tomorrow is the grand opening of the claremont dutch bros so hopefully the one in davenport will be a little quieter we'll see Still waiting to figure out whatever Colby ate. Don't have that answer yet. Still waiting on him. Uh, it is a beautiful day out today. It rained most of yesterday. It kept raining all night. But it is beautiful. And I think... I keep saying, I like, this is it. This is the end of the nice weather. But I think it's still... Like, this is a nice spring day. It's very windy. Blue skies. High 70s. I don't think we're getting another cold snap. But I think we might still get some of these days where we're not in the 80s. And tomorrow looks absolutely gorgeous. So I'm excited to get to go to an adventure on my day off. And then come back for the weekend. And do adventures back here at home the rest of the weekend. So just a quick overnight. I'm going to go get some work done and then I'll be back a little later when I take another break to do a Stitch Fix try on. Okay, I am back. It is time for fashion show, Stitch Fix fashion show. I picked two of these items from my preview and the rest were a surprise. The first item is a pair of shorts, which I'm about to show you. But I like my stylist. I do. However, I question her decision here because this pair of shorts was in my preview and I specifically said no and put in my request box, I would love a different pair of shorts. Like I'm interested in shorts, but a different pair. And she sent me the shorts from my preview and said in her note, basically, I know you requested a different pair of shorts, but these go really well with the shoes that I'm sending. I knew I wouldn't like these shorts and she sent them anyway. So here's the shorts. They're fine. <laughs> But I hate shorts that have this little fold here. As soon as you wash them the first time, I feel like they never 
fold right again. Plus, I just feel like it's annoying to walk having that fold. Um, I don't think these are all that flattering on me. Um, they're just, they're not as big as some shorts where I have the problem in my thighs where the shorts are just always too big on my thighs. They're not as bad as certain other ones that I've tried, but I just don't like them at all. So these are a definite no. Okay, this is item two, this little shirt. It's fine. Um, it's very see-through. So it's very thin, which is nice for Florida, but maybe a little too see-through. Maybe a little too just bland, too plain for me. I like the little detail, like the, what do they call it when they have a little band across the sleeves and right here. I think that's cute, but I have a lot cuter stuff in my closet. So, so this one is a no, but item three is actually a pair of shoes. So I'm gonna pan down. Item three, I don't know if this is the best way to film this or not. I really don't know how to film a pair of shoes. I'll film just holding the camera too, but I wanted to show you what they look like on. They are super cute and super comfortable. Like they've got some sort of foam material. So they're like really super light, but actually very cushy as well. So these are keepers. I'm definitely keeping these. So next up we have a sweater and it is a very, very lightweight sweater. It's the equivalent of like wearing one of my spirit jerseys. So it's definitely something that could easily get worn in Florida on these days where it's chilly. It's like high 60s and I get to wear a long sleeve shirt, but don't need like a full sweater. That's pretty much what our winter days equate to. I really like the sleeves on it. I like the little turtleneck on it. My only complaint is that it is short. I feel like these shorts and another pair of shorts I have work with shirts that are this short, but in jeans, I feel like doesn't do wonders for my body shape to kind of have it cut right below the waistline. So that's where I'm torn at because I'm like, I feel like I would wear this as far as thickness, but will I wear it with leggings? Will I wear it with jeans? I don't know. I'd wear it with shorts, but how often is it shorts and a long sleeve shirt weather, you know? So I'm torn on it because I really like the sleeves and I really like the color. Oh, I don't know. Oh, decisions. I'm gonna have to think about this one. And here is the final item, which I actually really like. I would love it if we were a different color. I think it's not the most exciting color palette, but it's all about these little sleeves. I love a little romantic detail like these little flowy sleeves. So this one's going to be a keeper. This is one I totally see myself being comfortable wearing for multiple occasions and just it's soft, it's comfortable, but also cute and flirty and nice and thin and perfect for Florida summer. So this one is a keeper. All right, so that leaves us with this and the shoes being definite. I'm gonna think about the sweater once I see the price and kind of make a decision there, but I think I might just keep this in the shoes. Well, it became Chili's night. It was necessary. So the air show is happening in Tampa. I was hoping we we're gonna get to see some of the Thunderbirds. So I'm getting ready to leave, sorry. We've been cutting some of the, <laughs> this, so the yard looks crazy right now. Um, in, a, in progress of trimming this back. But the air show is happening in Tampa and I just heard them start flying over. I was hoping to get to see some of it before I left for Orlando. It's about time for me to leave. And that was the first one I've heard. They practiced a little bit yesterday, but they didn't fly over our house. It's over that direction somewhere now. Dang, I wanna see it. <laughs> Jacqueline, here's your dose of spring though. My chinaberry tree is blooming. There was just a butterfly going through it. I don't know where the butterfly went but it was very, very spring there. Oh, there goes butterfly. <gasps> Your dose of spring. <laughs> All right, 
I need to get in the car and go to Orlando. It's gonna be a long drive today because I-4 looks like it's a mess. So, it's time. Well, deja vu, I'm back. <laughs> Started this vlog at Dutch Bros. I'm ending this vlog at Dutch Bros. But the line is much shorter today than it was last Saturday. And the one in Claremont opened today. So I'm hoping this is a sign of the future. It is Friday, but it's Good Friday, so a lot of people have it off. Let's hope this is just the start of a less crazy Dutch Bros. We'll find out tomorrow when I come back. My plan is to get two drinks. One to drink now, one to take with me for later tonight. That's my plan. Really maximize the fact that I, you know, went out of my way to come here. <laughs> okay, I got my drinks and basically ran out of there because it's going to take so long to get Universal. So I got the Tropical, which looks blue because in the picture they use uh, green tea instead of black tea. But I got black tea, the White Angel, iced, pretty good. Not as good as the Kokomo. And we're looking at freaking 47 minutes <laughs> to get to Universal because it's Good Friday and oh my god, I left my house at like 1.15. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I hate holiday traffic. Okay, that travel was exhausting. I'm very happy to have my tea. <laughs> Remind me not to try to come back to Orlando on Easter weekend ever again. Joey Fatone, <laughs> I hope you're worth this trip. I know it's gonna be a blast with Jess, but I left my house at 1.15. I just got to Aventura, it's 4.40. And yes, I waited 30 minutes for coffee, but still, that's like three hours of driving. I am over it. <laughs> Well, we have arrived. We have a volcano view. Almost exactly the same spot I was for closing weekend. I think I was on the 14th floor for that because I was on a skyline view. Uh, but we're on the ninth floor this time. <sighs> it's pretty. So we are checked in. Jess just went to move her car. And then we've got Joey Fatone and AJ tonight. I think you'll know this one. To get to you, I walk a thousand miles. I make it so we never be apart. But it's a
we are back from the concert. We had an amazing time. It was so much fun, like just an absolute blast. Uh, we had a girl next to us that was maybe having a little too much fun. <laughs> Oh my, she, she was fine until about like, I don't know, the last 30 minutes. And the last 30 minutes, the alcohol must have hit. And uh, she was a lot. <laughs> but, uh, but aside from her, it was an absolute great time. Like total 90s, early 2000s, like flashbacks, great time. And now we're back in the room. It's time to get ready for bed. So with that, I'm going to sign off for this week's vlog, but I will see you guys again very soon is there yes <laughs> secrets <laughs> but there will be a weekly vlog next week so i will see you guys then bye, bye. <laughs>